Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time now. And one of the things that I hear all the time is, you make it look so easy. Well, that's because I think it is. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques, and I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own jewelry. So if you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join. Alright, so to make our piece today, we're going to be using just a few parts. We have 39 inches of 1.5 millimeter leather. We're also going to be using a button. Now, I've chosen this one because I'm uh, sort of deeming this a unisex bracelet. Uh, you could use one with a shank on it. You can use any kind of button. But because this is sort of the most more masculine but feminine at the same time, uh, this is the one I've chosen. I'm, I also picked these up on a recent buying trip. These are a hexagonal 12 millimeter uh, wood bead. And what I liked about them was that they have a three millimeter hole in there. So as soon as I saw these, I knew exactly what I was gonna do with them. So I bought a lot. Now, if you want to buy them separately, I will leave a link in the description box below the video. You will get a package of four, so you can uh, use them to make this bracelet and have an extra one. And I will show you how to use that. Uh, and if you buy the kit, you will also get four because we're just going to package them up in advance. So you will have plenty of these wood beads and they have that really nice faceting on them. I just think they're really unique. And as far as tools, we're going to be using a ruler, a pair of cutters of some sort. You can use scissors, but you know, I never have them. Uh, we're also going to be using one of my famous barrel knot tubes and we're going to be using a little bit of GS Hypo. So let's get started. All right, so this bracelet is meant to fit everybody, but you're gonna to have to do a little bit of math. You know, it's my least favorite thing in the world to do, but I, um, I did a little bit myself so that uh, hopefully it will make sense and you'll be able to figure out what size to make this for your own bracelet. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure out about 11 inches of my leather. So I'm gonna turn it over so that I've got my short piece in my left hand and then the longer. Um, in the other. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not cutting this or anything. I'm just measuring out at 11 because I want to bring the button down to there. And it doesn't have to be an exact measurement. You've got plenty of leather to do everything you need with. But that was sort of the measurement that I figured worked best. So now if we take that short piece, put the button there, we're right at 11. Okay, so one of the things you want to make sure, I'm just going to move things that I remove things I don't need here. Um, one of the things you want to make sure is that you've always got your longer piece on top. That's the one that we're going to be making our barrel knots with. So you want to make sure that you always switch that to the top. So I'm going to take my tube and I'm going to place it between my leather pieces and I'm going to make three wraps. So I grab that, bring that under, around three times, and I'm working towards my left hand. And then I'm going to take that long piece that I was using and put it through the back end of that tube, holding on to that barrel knot with my fingers because I don't want it to fall apart on me. I'm then going to take it and gently push it down so that it's a little bit closer to the button. I don't want it on top of the button sort of thing. You need to have a little bit of wiggle room. Otherwise, you know, things will eventually wear away if there's um, too much rubbing. So there we go. So that's what we want. About that much, about a quarter inch of space. All right, so now I'm going to bring back my ruler. And now the, um, again, this is where you're going to have to do some math, but I'll explain at the end how you figure out the sizing on this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knot here and I'm going to place it right at the zero. And I'm going to go over two and a half inches, which is right there. And I'm just going to sort of loosely measure with my fingers. Now I'm going to make sure my long one is on the top, put my barrel knot tube in there, and I'm going to make another three wrap barrel knot. And then I'm going to take the end of that and go through the back side of that tube, still holding on to that so it doesn't fall apart. And then I'm going to tighten that up. 
So before I tighten it up, I'm just going to measure. We've got the beginning there and we've got that just about at two and a half, but I need to make it a little bit like smushed over just a bit. So there we go, that's two and a half. So now what I wanna do is my short one is the one that if I was to pull this, you can see it would make that buckle up. So I wanna make sure that these are both even. So I kind of just, you know, make it where I, the, there's no um, gap in there. I'm going to remeasure, and that sort of moved up the, the barrel knot just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, this is about where I wanna move it. So I'm gonna kind of push it down with my fingers and then remeasure. You know, it's always about measuring. So that's two and a half exactly. And now I'm going to keep my thumbnail on the back side there and tighten that up just a little bit more. And now I know that's not gonna move anywhere and we've got equal leather in there. So now I wanna take one of my uh, faceted wood beads and put both ends through. Now one's gonna be really long and one's gonna be short, but that's exactly what we want. So you just have to get them to match up. Now we're gonna make sure our long one is on the top. So there's my short one. So I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take my tube and I'm going to put it right in between and I wanna get as close to that bead as I can. If you start making your barrel knot down here, you're gonna find it really, really hard to move that down. So we're going to get it as close as we can and then hope for the best. You know, I will be honest uh, in that sometimes when I'm doing this step, if I'm not paying close enough attention to where that knot is traveling as I'm trying to get it closer to the bead, it will come undone. So you have to kind of watch for it and um, really be mindful. So now you see if I was to try and, I could tighten this up right now, but it's gonna tighten up up there. So I wanna try and wiggle that down. So I just kind of do it slowly. I gotta make sure that the bead is on right where that other knot is too. So just kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It can take a little bit of time, but if you are patient, it won't come undone because there's nothing worse than having to pick this apart and do it again. So that's right where I want it. So I'm just gonna take my thumb and kind of push that in. And that's exactly what we want. So now I'm gonna put another one on. So don't be um, upset at yourself if you can't get that to work. You sometimes have to, you know, um, try a little bit and see what works for you. And that's what I have found is trying to get this as close as I can to that bead. And then I kind of go like really close with my fingers there and then making sure I've got the long one. I go as close as I can to my fingers. I kind of, you know, I'm really stacking it tight in here, but you will find that if you can do this, you will be closer to that bead and it will just make it so much easier for you at the end of the day. So I'll get this one, the same thing. So keep them nice and parallel to each other as you're moving them down. And then you shouldn't have any problem with them coming apart. And if you do have it start to come apart, just regroup and kind of boss it around and tell that leather where you need it to be. So there we go, there's our second one. And now we're gonna put our third one on. You can see that this comes together pretty fast. The Probably the hardest part is going to be figuring out the sizing. And I will give you some tips and tricks at the end, so make sure that you, that you watch till the end so that I can guide you a bit on that. All right, so make sure our long was on, on top and it's always on the bottom. So you're gonna flip it over, get that in there nice and tight and make your next barrel knot. It was funny is when I was shopping and I saw these beads, I looked at them and, you know, I don't always know what I'm gonna make with beads when I buy them, but I sure did with this one. I was like, that is gonna make the coolest looking unisex bracelet. So I tend to like, um, jewelry that's a little more on the masculine side for myself. I've always liked that sort of look on myself. Um, so this is like, this is my jam. Love this. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've got our three beads on there. So now this section is about, I believe it is uh, two and a half inches. Yeah, so from, this one is a little bit on the small side. So it just depends on how tight you make your um, beaded section, but this should be this should land somewhere around the two and a half inches. Um, but mine ended up being just a little bit smaller on this one. I think I did this section really, really snug. 
So as long as it's somewhere between two and a quarter and two and a half, you should be okay. So now this first section here, uh, we did three inches, or sorry, two and a half inches from this knot to the beginning of that knot. So we're gonna put this knot at the zero and we're gonna go two and a half inches right there. So that's about where we want the next one. And I'm going to put my barrel knot tube there. And we can adjust this a little bit. We just kind of want um, an idea of where it's gonna go. And then pull that out. And before I tighten it up too much, I'm just going to measure and that's right at two and a half. So I'm just gonna put my thumbnail right where I want that knot to land. And then I push against it just so that it uh, knows where to stop. So that's exactly two and a half inches. Now I'm gonna make sure that my uh, long one is on the top again. And now we're gonna be making our clasp. So I just kind of start making mine. I go around three times and pull that out. And then I just sort of loosely, I get it kind of started. So I'm not pulling it tight yet. And then I just want to make sure that my button will fit. And after making millions of things over the years, I know it's going to fit. But you just kind of want to uh, test it. So again, what I do now is I take my thumbnail right where I want it. I'm going to pull the bottom one um, so that it's tight. And then we won't have anything buckling up in there. So there's our little clasp. And then we're going to give that a little trim. And that is as easy as that is to make. Now I'm not going to do it on camera because when I do it just makes a mess. But we're going to take a little bit of our GS Hypo and I'm going to put a little dab on right here on this. I'm going to use my um, barrel knot tube as a little pointer so that I can show you what I would do here. So I would take my the little tip from the GS Hypo and I would put some glue right there and then I would take some and put it right where it kind of crosses over right here. And then I would repeat right here and then right the, at that crossover section there. And I might even take a little tiny dab and put some down here on this knot. The knots next to the clasps are the ones that take the most punishment. And so you will find that um, that's where we want to have a little bit of extra. Okay, so this one, just for some ideas for color, this one is the black. All the um, wood beads are exact same color. They're kind of a dark ebony and they all have that faceting on them. So this is uh, black leather with the silver. And then we have the um, antique bronze with antique gray. And then I made one for a single one for if you wanted for women, if, if you thought maybe if you wanted to wear this and you're a female and you thought maybe this is too much, although I don't think it is, uh, you could make it uh, singular here. Just put one in the center. So I'm going to explain how you would do this when compared to that one. And just explain a little bit about sizing too. So if you do buy a kit, which will be available on our website, you just go to the link in the uh, description box and it will take you to my fully secure website and you'll get to choose um, the colors of everything that you wanted to um, use in your piece. Okay, so for the men's bracelet, for these two, um, as I mentioned, I started at the two and a half inch mark. This is about two and a half inches. Um, the, this little uh, piece from this to this knot is about two and a half inches. So we did two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. And with everything all done up, this fits about a seven and three quarter to an eight inch bracelet. So if you're gonna make a smaller one, you would have to deduct a little bit, but now you're not gonna take like a whole inch off because if you take an inch off, that's gonna take it down to like, unless you wanted a six and three quarter, uh, but that's gonna end up being, you know, quite a small bracelet. So you'll have to do a little bit of, you know, figuring it out for sizing. So those ones are constructed exactly the same. Uh, this one looks like it turned out just a little bit larger, um, just a tiny bit, I guess. Um, yeah, just a little tiny bit. Uh, and now for the women's, what I did, I call this a women, but uh, you know, a man could wear a man could wear it, no problem. It just it's just using a single bead. And because you are going to get four of these, because we're packaging them up in uh, bags of four. Uh, they will be available on the website and I'll put a link to that in the description box too. But um, so you could make one for your fella 
and one for yourself. So there you go, you've got extras. So to make this one, what I did was I pulled out my 11 inches. I did exactly the same, pulled my 11 inches out, made my barrel knot on this side, and then I went three inches over. Uh, Cause I, at first I was like, oh, I gotta go smaller. And I thought, oh gosh, no, because this one is only um, seven eighths of an inch. So you kinda, if you're gonna make it for a woman, you're gonna have to do a little bit of math because that's gonna be three inches and that's gonna be three inches and that adds seven eighths. So we've six and seven eighths. And then um, by the time you add your clasp, this bracelet with those measurements makes an approximately seven and a half inch bracelet. Now I have a pretty big wrist um, and this one fits me. I don't know if I can get it on under the camera, but let me see if I can maneuver this. This one actually fits me. So if you've got a tiny wrist, you'll really have to like pare back a bit on the measuring. Um, on the sizing there. So see how that fits me just perfectly? I love that bracelet. I think it's really, really sweet. So if you've got a tiny uh, wrist, I would probably go, so maybe six and a half, I would maybe take off like half an inch on each side and you should be okay. That would probably work. So I hope you like this one. Like I said before, as soon as I saw these beads, I knew instantly what I was going to do with them. We have lots of them in stock. So if you wanted to buy the beads by themselves and create your own, um, you know, we will have those available. This is going to be one of our most affordable bracelet kits. These are only going to be $10.99. So if you wanted to make these for a craft fair, you could easily sell these for, you know, $24, something like that, um, and make yourself a little bit of money. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure to give me a like, leave me a comment because I love to hear from everybody. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do so. I wanna thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.